I'm sure that uh, some of you out there uh, are thinking that you're having a great time and this is all well and good, but let's see the phone, right? Um, so we have a phone with you. Uh, oh, I have a phone with me right here, uh, and we're going to show it to you today. But first, uh, I'm going to walk you through just quickly the, uh, the sort of the hardware story that accompanies the uh, program story that Paul shared uh, earlier this morning. So just getting out a few toys here. So to enable the Make With Moto pilot, um, we needed uh, to quickly put together an a open smartphone you know, representative platform to enable uh, the students at the various hackathons to, to build their prototype devices on. Um, and so to do that, we used two things. Uh, the first was to bring the smartphone power, um, was a Motorola Razer Max HD. Uh, and then bringing the open uh, platform for the hardware hacking aspect, we had a, a slightly modified Arduino board that was integrated directly with the phone um, so that uh, uh, people could get hacking on hardware right away. Um, and so as you've heard before, we were just blown away by the creativity and the speed of development that we saw just off of this um, you know, platform that we put together very quickly. Uh, and so the next step, we wanted to you know, imagine what such an open uh, platform could look like uh, you know, with the, you know, with style. So, um, uh, for the Spiral Zero, right, we started thinking about uh, what this device would look like. Um, we knew we wanted to, you know, maximize the modularity to, um, you know, give consumers the most flexibility and developers the most real estate to work with. Um, we wanted a common parceling scheme to help uh, best enable the ecosystem. Uh, and we wanted that smooth and pebble-like aesthetic uh, that made both the modules and the device a pleasure to, uh, to handle. Um, and so we created an industrial design model, and you've seen it uh, on the web. Here it is today. Um, it, it pretty much went all over immediately. Uh, it seemed to be a, a pretty, uh, pretty much a hit um, and went viral right away. And so uh, we knew that it resonated and that the next step was really to, uh, to make a device in this form factor that worked. And so that leads us to spiral one. Um, and uh, you know, there were numerous engineering challenges associated with, uh, with spiral one. Uh, and there are a lot of firsts in the device, the on-device packet-switched uh, Unipro network, uh, as well as um, the uh, first instantiation of our flexible uh, power architecture that allows any module to be a power provider or a power consumer. Uh, as well as the first generation of electro-permanent magnets. Um, and, uh, and here it is, right? So this is, it's pretty cool because it really demonstrates that uh, this level of consumer-facing modularity is possible in this modular form factor. Um, and, uh, and it can boot, at least most of the time. Um, and so, uh, uh, you know, every milestone on this project I found super exciting. And I remember visiting NK Labs in the middle of the spiral bring up, uh, and the, the media bar in the Spiral One prototype first came to life and blasted Pink Floyd in the office, and it was just like the coolest, right? Like this module is working. Um, and so, thanks. And uh, and you can see it booting Android today. we are. So that's the Spiral One phone. Uh, and uh, it has the early uh, prototype, um, you know, the, what the prototypes that would lead to the Aura configurator, or Aura manager app, excuse me. Um, so for example here, uh, if you can see it okay, is our EPM actuation app uh, to lock and unlock modules. So that's Spiral One. Uh, and so that leads us to Spiral Two. Uh, and for that, my friend Dexter is going to join us to uh, show us the Spiral Two hardware. So let me make sure he's got Lots of room here. Um, and so here it is, the Spiral uh, 2 phone. Um, and we're uh, inserting the, the, sorry, the battery module for Spiral 2 uh, last, because as you've heard, uh, some of the firmware development uh, is still in progress. And so right now, it's programmed to boot uh, as soon as uh, power is detected. Um, so uh, that's why we're just finishing assembly here. 
Uh, and uh, here's Sprout to Phone. So again, the, the first generation of uh, Unipro uh, Bridge and Switch ASICs are in this device, uh, communicating between the AP and the display, uh, and we're, we're booting Android. So uh, you heard about the, <clears throat> the, this, the status of the, of the touch on that big dev board, so for today that's all we'll see, but we'll take a look under the hood and uh, look at all the, all the modules. So we'll take the phone apart. Um, and uh, so these are the uh, uh, Spiral 2 injection molded polycarbonate shells decorated with dye sublimation. Um, as you heard from Jason, I particularly uh, am fond of this design because those are my dogs on that shell, uh, Grace and Eleanor. So uh, as we uh, start to see the endo here, obviously we have the, uh, all the new Spiral 2 features are here. Uh, the redesigned connector blocks, as well as the EPMs, both on the front and the rear. And the EPMs uh, integrated into the endoskeleton. And I think maybe let's just bring up the, uh, as I throw modules everywhere, uh, appearance model, right? So uh, we did fight tooth and nail, right, for every millimeter um, to maintain the original industrial design vision. And, uh, and we were super, super close. So we're really happy about that. Um, and so, uh, I'll walk through uh, just the, the reference modules as we put the phone back together here. So we have the uh, uh, receiver module with the uh, earpiece audio and proximity sensor. Obviously the display uh, with the integrated uh, volume and power buttons. Um, the camera module, uh, you can see the slight Z exceedance that allows us to have a higher megapixel camera. Uh, that's our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. You may be able to see it, I'm not sure, uh, the uh, antennas there integrated into the shells. Uh, our USB charger module, uh, and our other one by one is the uh, band five antenna for the 3G cellular, which is going in right now. And uh, uh, the application processor, so this is obviously the Marvell uh, design, uh, or using the Marvell chip, um, and the speaker module, uh, and lastly the battery. So uh, all of, of these modules are available as reference designs in the MDK, as well as the additional application processor. Uh, we will have a couple of these phones around uh, today if you want to get a closer look. Um, so uh, come find uh, me or someone else with a phone. And um, thank you. Mm -hmm.